Welcome everyone, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's screencast video is on Autodesk Format 360 and taking a look at materials and how they function. Here I am in Format 360, web-based application. I've got a basic model drawn here. On the right-hand side, there are some commands in the vertical uh, right side. The first one is properties. The second one is materials. Uh, you cannot sort them, by the way. Somebody asked me once, can I take this command and shift it up or down? And it doesn't look like you have that ability to do so yet, but that might be a nice idea under the uh, Format 360 um, ideas under forms.autodesk.com. Here under materials, you have this panel that opens up, and you can, um, sometimes you can resize it, sometimes you can't. Uh, it just depends on the interface that you're working with. But you have the ability to add a material. So if I click this command right here, I can add a material and call it whatever I want. I'm going to call it test material A. You can click inside here to click a color, to set a color, any one that you want. Click OK. Then click a texture. And you can pick a texture mapping file. You can load one in, or you can reset the crop images. You can work with the preview of the tiling and zooming. You can also get into the bump map as well. So if I click in here, it'll ask for a file that is a custom image file for you to apply a bump to, and then cut out as well. So if you click in here, it'll ask, click in here, it'll ask you for that same type of file. You can also specify transparency or glossiness or reflectivity um, and also reflection. Now, if you don't want to go through the headache of creating a custom material from scratch like that, you can either use the sample ones, which they give you right here, or in the sketch. So when you click in sketch, it's basically listing all the materials that are currently in your project. Since I don't have any, since this is a brand new project, this will be blank. I can click samples, and I can see all the different ones that are available. For us to use it, I can just click, for example, gray stone and then move my mouse and put my cursor over the face of what I want and click and that material gets applied to it. And then if I hit escape twice, I'm out of the command. It also by default jumps to where it says in sketch and it shows you the material that's in the sketch. Let's go back to samples. So again, I can pick any one that I want and then go over here and place it and I'm done. Now, since it placed it, it basically copied the sample materials and not only allowed you to place it in the file, your current file, and on the face of your object, but it also copied the definition to your particular file. So when you hover your mouse over that material, for example, gray stone, you have icons for editing it, for copying it, for selecting all uh, of the objects that are using this material so that you can delete it, for example, for example or you can delete this material entirely. If I click the edit command, it'll open up the edit material dialog box that you're used to seeing over here that we talked about initially. And you can make adjustments. You can also click import material. When you do this, it opens up the material dialog editor box that comes shipped with the software. And you'll see it has a whole bunch of different categorizations. For example, concrete or decal or glazing or metal. And as you select any one of the categories on the second vertical panel, will list all the materials that are available. And let's say, for example, I pick stone. And I scroll down and I pick a material, say this rose stone. You'll see how it physically gets applied to the geometry and what it'll look like in, in kind of a realistic sense in the file. So if I click import, it comes in. And now it's part of your in-sketch canvas of materials to work with. And then you can click it and physically apply it to an object. OK? Um, and so that's how you work with the different materials and the commands for materials uh, within the uh, dialog box for Format. Thank you very much for watching.